Semiconductor manufacturing has captured the fancy of Indian industry. This has gained momentum following the shortage that hit the world during and immediately after the COVID pandemic. This was driven by the need to find an alternative to China as a supplier. But experts say policymakers may be laying too much emphasis on manufacturing and not enough on design, engineering and R&D. CNBC TV 18's Jude Sanath finds out why. कि 2024 में पहली मेड इन इंडिया मेमोरी चिप गुजरात में माइक्रोन के प्लांट से निकलेगी With a chip shortage plaguing global supply chains in 2023 several markets including those in the US, Europe and Asia are looking to shore up their chip making and supply lines in the new year. In India the chip obsession has trickled down to states like Gujarat, Assam and Tamil Nadu. US based semiconductor firm Micron will invest in a new plant in Sanand even as the Assam government says it's in talks with Tata Electronics to set up a chip making plant in the state. Semiconductors were in focus at both the vibrant Gujarat and the Tamil Nadu investor summits. The Tamil Nadu government has used the occasion to unveil its first semiconductor policy which will see the state offer up to 50% subsidies over and above the center's 10 billion dollar subsidy plan to chip makers but economists and experts have cautioned against focusing too much on chip assembly saying governments would be better off by laying emphasis on building a composite semiconductor ecosystem just building one or two factories is not going to uh, be enough but if you begin to build an entire ecosystem from the top of the supply chain to the bottom uh, then you get enough scale i think to uh, start having new firms emerge that are creating even more value design is just as value additive often more value additive than manufacturing itself and india has real design centers in bangalore and tamil nadu and elsewhere uh, and building out design expertise is going to be i think just as important as building out the manufacturing base Incidentally, Tamil Nadu's semiconductor policy also incentivizes semiconductor design on the funding and industry academy a partnership front. The policy document has targeted creating a talent pool of 2 lakh skilled engineers and workers in the sector. The center is also working along these lines. We will put in whatever resources are required to be put in. Aap usme knowledge partner baniye. और साथ में जिन लोगों को भी ला सकते हैं उन लोगों को लेके आइए सो दैट वी कैन क्रिएट एन इकोसिस्टम फॉर आर एंड डी फॉर वैलिडेटिंग न्यू आइडियाज एंड फॉर टेकिंग द एंटायर जर्नी टू अ नेक्स्ट लेवल नेम्स लाइक पॉलीमेटिक आई एस एम सी कंसोशियम एंड सिंगापुर बेस्ड आई जी एस एस वेंचर्स are looking to establish fabrication units in Tamil Nadu and Karnataka. However, economic experts are not thrilled about the subsidies being offered to woo such investments. We are worried about more is the excessive subsidies subsidization. Uh if you put together everything that the state governments, the central government everybody is offering, then you have to ask what am I getting in return? So that's why the Micron example is very important in the book. because here's a factory which is going to produce you know lo- not logic chips but memory chips we pay the entire investment is 2.7 billion dollars the center and uh, central government and the state of gujarat are picking up 2 billion dollars for what for 5000 jobs experts say india may well have the ingredients to build a great ecosystem and move beyond mere chip making to focus on engineering design and r&d but the real achievement will be making this happen the government definitely has plans to get it done we have already tied up with 104 universities and institutions for developing btech mtech phd level talent the question is how soon in gandhinagar this is jude sanath With that it's a